that mammoth project to replace the carrier dome roof and make many more improvements at the famed arena? Supposed to be done a week from Friday. The man leading the project tells me late this afternoon his focus has been done in nine days, but it's going to be a challenge. The last couple, three weeks of every project are the most critical part of the project. And we are at the point now where we are in the phases of that, that fabric roof is going to make me or break me. This is an aerial look from just a couple of days ago. The entire steel hard roof is now done. Salas says they've even raised the gigantic center hung scoreboard, installing the last of the video boards, most of the lighting and speakers up. But there's a key piece of the project where that blue fabric is now that needs the translucent portion of the roof in place by a week from Friday. We're actually dismantling a lot of the weather protection we put on the ribbon board that goes around the third level because we're starting to dry the building in and all the seats are back in already. That's all ready to go. But I still have a big hole in the center of the roof and these panels need to be finished. Fans are not allowed in for games and won't be until the state changes its rules on large gatherings. But Salas says there's a very good reason why this building and project needs to be done and ready. And it's not just for the student athletes. I'm being asked on a daily basis by all my uh, colleagues at the university to open the dome up for students to come in and take online classes, to have a place to go, to have a place to spread out. We're being asked to hold some classes in here once the dome opens up. So we need this facility for our students now. The new and improved Carrier Dome is still scheduled to host its first event, SU against Georgia Tech in football, on Saturday, September 26th. And again, no fans allowed.